everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Terry. if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, we are traveling from Southwest Florida to St. Augustine, Florida on our way to North Carolina. some more before driving the rest of the way to North Carolina. I feel like a lot of stuff is closed, so it won't be so much exploring, but just seeing what's out here. Good morning everyone, we are in our hotel. It's a Holiday Inn just in the historic district of St. Augustine. Super excited because I've never been here. Anthony has been here. So we're going to do just a bit of exploring. We road tripped here yesterday from Southwest Florida. So we are stopping along the way going to North Carolina. So we're only here for a short period of time before we have to drive the rest of the way. But we checked out just a little bit of the St. George Street area in St. Augustine last night. So it was a bit dark, couldn't see much. So I'm very excited to see what everything looks like in the light for the next couple hours and we'll get some breakfast and hit up some spots and explore St. Augustine. We started by walking down St. Marco Avenue where we passed the National Shrine of Our Lady La Leche, which was the big cross. We also ended up passing the old Trolley Welcome Center. If you're wanting to see the sights without having to walk, that is a great option that you will see throughout this vlog. Next to it is also the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum as well. about me I'm actually half Greek and I had no idea that this was here we ended up going in a bit later in the day so if you're wanting to see inside the st. Photius National Shrine stick around until later on and then we walked by this restaurant that I had heard about it's a traditional Spanish restaurant dating back to 1905 we didn't end up getting to go and sit down for a meal but I've heard that that is something you should put on your list if you want the whole experience of st. Augustine We ended up walking away from St. George Street and towards Flagler College to take a look. And it is just the most gorgeous campus I have ever seen. Really every single building in St. Augustine is amazing and so beautiful. Just the history and beauty of this place. It definitely was a great stop along our road trip.
We even ended up hearing the bells at Flagler College. They were very unexpected and were playing like popular songs. At first we thought it was a Billy Joel song. We weren't 100% sure and it ended up being Piano Man by Billy Joel. It's not Billy Joel. It is! Piano Man? <laughs> it is, it is! Remix! <laughs> Look at all the well positioned palm trees. Next to the pool, next to the bells. After exploring the entire campus, there was just so much more to see, but we couldn't get to everything because we didn't have enough hours to actually go into places. But there are tours of a lot of the museums and things that you can not take part in if you have the time. But at least we got to see the outside and the historic sites, at least from an outsider's perspective. The next place that we went that was a must-see, at least from the outside, was Castillo de San Marcos, which is the oldest masonry fort in the continental United States. And you can pay for a self-guided tour and go inside, but we didn't end up doing that. We just walked around the grounds and got a good sense of the structure from the outside. What's really interesting about the make of the fort is that it is made out of coquina stone, which is basically crushed up seashells, and it is strong enough to have lasted days of cannon fire, and it's still standing today, which is crazy. My Greek family watching, this is the St. Photius Greek Orthodox National Shrine. I had no idea there was such a Greek presence in St. Augustine, so this was a really interesting surprise. I called my grandparents and they loved seeing it. <laughs> And then we were off to breakfast. We hadn't eaten yet today. So we went to Cousteau's Waffle and Milkshake Bar. It was actually recommended by Allison Beggerstaff. She did a travel vlog to St. Augustine. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out for any other recommendations. This was definitely an amazing choice for breakfast. We have stopped at Cousteau's Waffle and Milkshake Bar to have some waffles. I'm in the middle of mine. What did I get? It's called the Bond Company Stooge. It is delicious. It's got a creme brulee waffle, so there's like this layer of like creme brulee sugar, like crunchy on the top of the waffle. With whipped cream and strawberries. Anthony got the Whirly Bird, and it has apple, like cinnamon, bourbon whipped cream, and vanilla ice cream on there, so it was very good. I had a bite. And caramel. And caramel. Don't forget the caramel. I'm sweating. It's so hot here, but we are enjoying our waffles just outside in this cute little spot that they have set up, and then we'll do some more exploring before we head out. He's up there. Hello, Trudy.
done for the day. We are checking out at noon, so we're just walking back to our hotel. It's about a 15 to 20 minute walk, depending on where you are in the main St. Augustine area. So yeah, we're gonna pack up the car and keep driving to North Carolina. I hope you enjoyed exploring St. Augustine with me. It was super fun to see everything. Of course, we didn't see a lot, but we only had a couple of hours, so. The car is all packed up. It's Tetris crazy back there. Um, but we did really good job at packing it up, better than yesterday. And now we are going down Magnolia Street. I think what Anthony described it as, is like this really nice street with like tree canopy, like really pretty. So we're heading away from the hotel and driving towards that to do a little bit of exploring in the car, which is nice. I thought we'd be done, but there's more to see. And you may have noticed that I changed because I cannot sit in the car in the outfit that I was wearing before. This is much comfier. It's a, a set from Aerie. It's like a very cute sports bra and, well, this doesn't come with it, but just some black biker shorts are very comfortable in the car for me. So that's what I wanted to change into before we headed out. Traffic? It's all good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's made of like, We were going to start driving, but then we decided to get out and just walk around a little bit, take some photos, and really soak up the beauty of the Spanish moss on Magnolia Street. There was this cute little cafe right across the street from the Fountain of Youth, and the trolley went by, of course. It literally goes everywhere. <laughs> and then we ended up heading out on the road to continue our drive to North Carolina. Mm -hmm. 